blue screen of death two minutes after you boot the computer. How do you fix it? I didn't have any information from this individual when they gave me the laptop. I just got a laptop and they said, can you look at this? I don't know what's wrong with it. So I boot the computer and within two minutes I figure out, oh, blue screen of death. All right, cool. I know where to go to fix this. Two minutes to fix this computer. I'll show you how I did it. Windows 10 computer. It's an Asus laptop. I'm feeling pretty good about myself because I got it working. It would consistently crash one to two minutes after I booted the computer. First thing I did, I go into task manager immediately after booting the computer because remember, I only have about 60 to 120 seconds to figure out what's crashing this computer. Let's go into task manager. Let's figure out what's causing this computer to crash. And you can figure that out by generally looking like, oh, okay, this thing is being 100% hit by this program and task manager. There's other programs out there like GPUZ or MSI Afterburner that can track applications and figure out what's causing errors and what's causing crashes. But I didn't have time to install any of those applications. I only had one or two minutes before the computer would crash. So I didn't have time to install an application. I had to figure out what was causing the crash. I find Avast using 100% of the SSD. This is a SATA SSD in an M.2 slot in this Asus laptop. That's unusual. SSDs don't normally get hammered that hard, but Avast is a disk cleanup security software. And we all know that security softwares tend to crash computers. So let's go ahead, force quit Avast. Wait a second, what's this other program? Multi malware blocker.com, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's force quit that one as well. Turn that thing off. All right, now my SSD isn't gonna be hammered as hard. Let's see how long it takes for it to crash. Okay, this laptop's not crashing now. So let's move on to the next step. Let's uninstall those softwares that were causing the crash. I was then able to uninstall those applications using the add or remove programs in Windows. And once I got rid of Avast and multi malware blocker.com, then it was good. It wasn't crashing anymore. Once I uninstall those softwares, I go ahead back into task manager and I turn off everything that's under the startup tab. I disable all those things. We had Adobe Suite, Adobe Creative Cloud, Dropbox, and a dozen other applications that were booting on startup, which is what was causing the computer to lag out. And the computer ran better, it ran smoother. Here's a lesson to be learned. Task manager is your friend. Force quitting things that are booting during startup is your friend. Make sure you do not use security softwares from third parties on your computer because they're trash. They're always trash every time. Norton, Avast, multi-malwareblocker.com, all these security softwares are trash. Just don't use them. Just don't go to websites where you need to block malware. Don't open attachments from emails where you need a malware blocker. Just don't call tech support and talk to some dude on a phone and let him take over your computer. Just don't do those things. And you don't need a malware blocker. You don't need security software. Just don't trust your computer with anyone else other than yourself. And you won't need a malware blocker. Most attacks need physical access to your hardware or else they need permission from you to attack your computer. Simple as that. Have a good day.